this morning, $14 million in transportation money coming to Alabama, and part of that money will be invested in West Alabama. Yeah, the money will help one community where one elected leader says they are plagued by those stalled trains on railroad tracks. Your West Alabama reporter, Kelvin Reynolds, joins us live now with more. Kelvin? Good morning, Mike and Lyndon. York is a small town in Sumter County. The $3 million going to York to come up with a solution to the trains that block railroad crossings there is actually more than the town's annual budget, according to Mayor Willie Lake. Now, that money is going to pay for design improvements as well as plans that uh, could lead to another way for traffic to get over and around railroad crossings that are blocked by stalled trains. Now, Mayor York says the trains can block railroad crossings there for hours at a time in York. A North Fork Southern Railways and Amtrak's Crescent Service use railroad tracks in York according to the U.S. Department of Transportation. A lake says that last year York had to open a shelter for residents unable to get home because a train blocked a railroad crossing for so long. York has really been crippled for the last 25 years. We have approximately 18 trains come through here a day, and on average in the past they are blocked the town for about two and a half hours. Not only do they block downtown, but they also block two neighborhoods, the Grand City neighborhood and the Yorktown Village neighborhood. Now, some possible solutions to those blocked railroad crossings could be an overpass or a service road that would allow traffic to bypass those stalled trains on tracks. Now, this is still the beginning of the planning stage and actually implementing some possible solutions are still years away in York. Live in West Alabama, Kelvin Reynolds, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.